Good morning, it's Thursday, April 11th, and this is Slices of Wenatchee. We've got new episodes out on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, so make sure to follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen. Today, Helion, an Everett-based nuclear fusion company established in 2013, has recently signed a letter of intent with the Chelan-Douglas Regional Port Authority. And later, we look into the role of the Chelan-Douglas Land Trust in our community. Before we begin, have you joined Neighbor yet? If not, download the app today and join local conversations about issues that matter. Neighbor is a site just for our local community focused on facts, not misinformation. Best of all, it's free for everyone. To learn more, visit wenatcheeworld.com slash n-a-b-u-r. Now our feature story. Helion, an Everett-based nuclear fusion company established in 2013, has recently signed a letter of intent with the Chelan-Douglas Regional Port Authority. This agreement initiates a one-year feasibility period, allowing Helion to conduct thorough due diligence on a portion of a 25-acre plot in Malaga. This period also grants the Chelan County PUD time to complete its interconnection study, an essential step towards realizing this ambitious project. The company's strategic move is aimed at supporting Microsoft's data centers, promising a minimum delivery of 50 megawatts of power. This collaboration could eventually lead to Helion producing up to a gigawatt of electricity, marking a significant leap towards a more sustainable energy future. Helion is no stranger to innovation, currently in the process of constructing its seventh fusion prototype, Polaris in Everett. Polaris serves as a testament to Helion's capability to harness energy through fusion, setting the stage for Constellation, the company's first commercial power machine projected to be operational by 2028. In a substantial boost to its initiatives, Helion has raised over $570 million in private capital, with significant contributions from notable figures such as Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI. This influx of investment underscores the confidence in Helion's vision to advance clean energy solutions. Fusion energy, characterized by its clean, reliable, and abundant nature, stands as a beacon of hope in the quest for zero-carbon emission energy sources. Unlike traditional fission processes, fusion offers a pathway to energy creation that eliminates radioactive waste and carbon emissions, presenting a cleaner alternative to fossil fuels. Helion's approach to fusion involves the combination of hydrogen and helium to initiate an energy release process. As they continue to pave the way for fusion energy, the support from the state level, evident in the recent signing of House Bill 1924 by Governor Jay Inslee, bolsters the integration of fusion technology into state clean energy policies. This legislative backing is a clear indication of the growing recognition and support for fusion energy's role in achieving a sustainable energy future. As we look toward a future powered by fusion energy, Helion's efforts in Malaga offer a glimpse into the potential for a world where clean, reliable, and abundant energy is no longer a distant dream, but a tangible reality. Next, the Wenatchee Foothills Trails opened earlier this month. The trails are managed by the Chelan Douglas Land Trust, City of Wenatchee, and PUD. In honor of the spring reopening, the Chelan Douglas Land Trust is having events for people to get outdoors and connect to nature. You may even see trail ambassadors at different trailheads in the Wenatchee foothills collecting trail user data. We recently spoke to Eliza Lopez to learn more about the Land Trust's work. Eliza is the engagement manager at the Chelan Douglas Land Trust. Here's what she had to say. The Chelan Douglas Land Trust is a nonprofit in our area for both Chelan and Douglas counties that protects land to preserve habitat for wildlife, for people. After we protect that land, it is up to us, the Chelan Douglas Land Trust and our community, all of North Central Washington, to continue to care for it forever. Um, Forever is a big responsibility. So that means that we have to continue to engage people. People are the, you know, we're the ones who do the work. And that's our focus for this year is welcoming people, finding new ways to engage people. So the Chelan Douglas Land Trust has protected 26,000 acres We own 7,000 of those acres and 14,000 of that is um, our health for conservation easements. Um, Our annual operating budget is $1.3 million and a big portion of our unrestricted funds comes from our community, our our donors and our members. The heart of our organization is our members and our volunteers who help us do our work. Um, We're only a small team of 11 staff and we have Last year, in 2023, we had over or really close to 200 volunteers, Um, and that's not counting high school groups and students. They help us do trail maintenance, habitat restoration, help us fundraise, 
get awareness um, to a community events such as tabling, leading hikes. They, they do everything that we do um, just with our leadership. With all the work that the Land Trust does, we almost always have a partner. Um, there are municipalities, school districts, other nonprofits, um, health providers. It's a really diverse group of partners. For the work that I did last year, only about nine of my 30 plus events were without a partner. Um, so we're always looking to, to bring everyone else in. In 2023 and really some of the work from late 2022 that carried over, one of our biggest accomplishments is that the land trust and the community was able to double the size of the Saddle Rock natural area, adding 480 acres. Um, so now it's close to about 850 acres, um, all of it, which is gonna have public access. The other land acquisition that we had in 2023 was 398 acres permanently protected for Castle Rock Ridge. It is above the lower Castle Rock Ridge natural area. And that was thanks to our members and the previous landowners who protected that. So the Land Trust has uh, for many years now been working on um, DE&I, diversity, equity and inclusion. In 2023, thanks to a grant, the Williams Friendship Fund, we created a position, the Community Inclusion Coordinator. Um, this position, my work last year, was focused on creating a program of events that were equitable and inclusive, even more than the Land Trust was already doing. These events were um, had a, a couple of components that made them equitable, which was that they were free, they were outside of school and work hours in the evenings, on the weekends. They were open to all ages and I'm bilingual, so they were led bilingually. So somebody who wasn't comfortable learning about the environment in English um, could learn about it in Spanish. Another part that I really liked about my job was working with students, giving them, you know, a lot of my education, they, they do a lot of their education in English, so it was mainly in English but they could learn keywords of environmental science topics in Spanish and then take those conversations home mm -hmm. so that their learning didn't stop during school hours and they could keep talking about the butterfly that they saw or the snakes and the deer and everything. Yeah. Thanks for listening. For more information on all the stories you heard today, visit us at WenatcheeWorld.com. The Wenatchee World has been engaging, informing, and inspiring North Central Washington communities since 1905. We encourage you to subscribe today to keep your heart and mind connected to what matters most in North Central Washington. Thank you for starting your morning with us, and don't forget to tune in again on Saturday.